Hi everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to do the following animation. So what we need to recreate here is that movement from uh, left to right and that roll. Um, and for this we're going to be using Adobe After Effects. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start a new composition. And we're just going to enter in the width and the height. So it's 1920 by 1080, which is the standard for sort of any film or TV production at the moment. And we're going to enter our duration. It's about 10 seconds. And we've chosen this sort of color, this plain color as a background. Uh, we're just going to drop in our files now. So we're getting the sound and the AI file, so the Adobe Illustrator file hit P on our keyboards and that will allow us to adjust the positioning of the logo so we're gonna hit the little clock that's a first keyframe we're gonna put that there and I'm just gonna move that needle back and I'm just gonna move our logo so the idea is that from this distance to this marker it will actually move and then we can go back in and adjust those keyframes so that they roughly the same sort of size length rather as the sound clip next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to hit r on our keyboards and uh, that will allow the rotation animation to pop up and we'll do the same sort of thing. We'll just hit the clock, and that's our first keyframe. Move the needle over, and we're gonna hit one in here. And that means one rotation. So now we've got both of these animations working together. We've got the movement from left to right, and we've also got that one roll. What we need to do now is adjust the speed of the roll, because we want it to match that sound that we've got in that we showed you at the beginning of the clip. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got the right graph. Um, so if you just hit, click down here, it, sometimes it puts the edit value graph on. We want to adjust the speed. And once we've done that, we can start adjusting the speed. So we want the speed to sort of go quick and then sort of quick again. To, so it sort of has a slow roll in the middle. So it would create this kind of um, line on a graph. And this is why you need to learn maths for any kind of um, editing. It's good to know about graphs and how they work. Um, really, really helpful when, you, when you're trying to work out the speed of an animation. And then we're gonna do the same sort of thing with the rotation. So we're gonna try and create this spike again. Um, so it goes quick, sort of slows down, then goes a bit uh, quicker again. And what we wanna do is we wanna, we wanna match these graphs up so they're kind of doing the same sort of motion. So just gonna have a little play around with it here. And it might take you a little bit of time, but um, once you get a hang of it and you sort of get the speed right, it'll be worth it in the end. There you go. Now we're getting, I hope, I hope you can see this okay. I'm trying to get them spikes very equally matched. And now we've done that in the graphs, we can just um, change the actual timing now of when they start and end. So I'm just going to bring, as you can see, that's a little bit of lag just at the end. It needs to stop rolling exactly as it moves into the right position. So I'm just going to move the position in a little bit over. Still a little bit there. And that's it. Well, we hope you enjoyed this very small, short tutorial and I uh, hope that you learn a little bit about how animation works in Adobe After Effects. Thanks a lot.